Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And our topic this morning is vacuum pumps. A real quick look at a vacuum pump, where it goes on the engine, and what can go wrong with them. As you can see here, we have three vacuum pumps. We have a Stratus, we have a Tempest, and we have an Airborne. And you'll notice that when they've been overhauled, they put a big sticker on the back, FAA approved overhaul. Uh, this particular vacuum pump, these two here are still serviceable. They still work. And when they fail, you'll notice that this plastic drive gear snaps off. And when the vanes jam, it shears right here so the engine can continue to operate. Of course, now your sand's a vacuum pump. This one's actually marked on the top, no overhaul for whatever reason. So obviously it's been overhauled and can't be overhauled again. But anyway, it's a real quick look at what a vacuum pump does. It's held on by these four screws. This one down here on the bottom left hand corner, that's the booger bear. And let's go look on an accessory case for a Tiger. It's very similar to the accessory case on a Traveler. But your vacuum pump actually sits right here on these four long studs. There is an adapter block that goes right here. But this is where the vacuum pump goes on there. Vacuum pump here, right mag, left mag, mechanical fuel pump, and a carburetor for the Tiger. Oil line. Uh, there's another oil line up over here and tachometer cable. So these are all the things that make your engine work for you. So that's a little bit real quick story of vacuum pumps. But anyway, we hope you found this information on the vacuum pumps informative. Let's give it a little bit of a clue what's going on. Keep in mind that you have two fittings on your vacuum pump. You have an intake fitting which pulls air through your instruments to spin them up. And this is your uh, outlet port. Um, have a short piece of a uh, rubber tubing or clear tubing on it it just keeps it if the pump should run backwards a little bit from sucking any debris into the pump which can cause a pre uh, premature failure so again we hope you found this information informative thanks for watching and have a very good day flying your drumming